Hey folks, good morning. We're up in Lagan, which is in the north of Scotland. Um, it is the Friday before the Mountain Bike World Cup. So I thought I'd take this opportunity to do a little talk about the bike. So I had a few people ask about the bike I had in the last videos. Um, and also what happened to the Enduro that I had. Well, the Enduro has been sold to help pay for the, the new bike, which as some of you may know already is something pretty pretty nice pretty special um it's been built at the moment and as soon as i have it i'll put some photos on my instagram and also maybe do a wee video for you as well so back to this it's a 2017 white t130c works um carbon front triangle alloy rear it's got 130 mil travel as the name suggests and i'll go from front to back so at the front um up at the cockpit we've got hope carbon bars um the brakes are hope e3 um, and we've got Renthal super sticky grips on it and it's, the stem's just a 35mm hope. And under the bars we've got the, the SRAM Ego XX1 trigger and on the other side um, it's got a reverb. So the forks up front we've got 130mm travel pikes and the wheels are white carbon with 30mm internal diameters, uh, internal widths I believe. Um, and the tyres are the Onza Ibex 2.4s. Um, these are brand new to me, so I'm quite interested to see how they perform. Because um, I normally run Hans Damp and Magic Mary's, so it's interesting. We'll see how we get on with it today. And the mud guards are, are, rock, are rock guards, um, and that's carbon fibre also. And you can see here I've got a shock wedge just to try and dial my suspension in a little bit. <coughs> so moving to the back of the bike, I've got a SRAM XX1 carbon cranks, and depending on how I'm feeling and where I'm riding, I'll either run um, XTR clipless pedals or today I've got Volks on, um, which simply are the best flat pedals I've ever had. Um, and I've also got the Rockguards carbon frame protector just for that bit of peace of mind. It's got a few hits in it already as you can see. Um, and then above that I've got a reverb dropper which to be honest I'm not the biggest fan of. I find it quite temperamental, um, especially in winter in Scotland. Um, and with that in mind I've actually ordered one of the new one-up components, um, so I'm going back to cable actuator which is a little better and I've got the charge spoon up here as well which is the only saddle I've ever tried on a bike to actually really got on with. Um, back to, up to the back I've got Ibex on the back as well and of course that's run set up tubeless. Um, so having a look at the numbers it's got a 67 degree head angle and it's quite big actually it's got a 467 millimeter reach on it and a large. So yeah so until next time if there's anything you want to know about it let me know. Thanks.